might ruffle a few feathers because you're guilty of it. So if it ruffles your feather, it means you're guilty of doing this. And if you don't know what this is, you might be guilty of it. This, in case you weren't understanding, is a lacrosse ball. We're talking about recovery methods today. There is an increase in the amount of practice times that kids are spending in either their school, with private coaches or their club, and potentially playing one sport year round. And many know that that is too much of one focused activity. It is better to do year round different sports, although kids want to be great, so we're not gonna say don't do this, don't get better, don't work hard. However, there can be too much strain on the body if we're doing consistently the same movements over and over and over again without the subject we're talking about today, recovery. If we don't understand how to keep the body healthy, we will eventually wear the body down and it will break down on us. Injury. So, there are a few simple and easy techniques of which you may know of which you can learn and of which you can start to implement into your practices coaches all right lacrosse ball being one it's actually my favorite one and we use this for trigger point release muscle activation okay it's a modality that helps to relieve muscle soreness you simply find a spot that is a little tender for athletes a lot of times that is their gripping muscles forearm muscles you can then make fists Roll your hand as such. Find out where it is tender. It's a little tender for me from doing pull-ups this afternoon. And just find those spots and just roll through it, okay? It's a little bit more of a focused target area than say a foam roller, which we also have right here, which we do highly recommend. You can use the foam roller on bigger parts because this one, although it's amazing for really fine specific points, it would take forever to get a lot of work done. So we use the foam roller when we want to get bigger areas to loosen up through that trigger point release technique. You just want to go comfortable movements. You're not trying to see how much pain you can endure. It's supposed to feel good. Those are two methods that you can use to help your athletes stay healthy, to help them perform, stay good, feel good, and perform good, okay? Ice baths are another one. A little bit hard to implement if you don't have your big trash cans, but most athletes can take a bag or two of ice, pick them up on the convenience store on the way home, dump them into their bathtub at home, sit for 10 minutes. The flush, that squeeze that we feel of all the muscles as it hits that cold water is amazing and does help speed recovery. That's why athletes and professional athletes really invest in the time with their body to get the ice cold bath. Uh, you don't see too many rec athletes doing it. Why? Because it is a little bit tender. It's a little bit painful. It's a little bit too much for some. But if you're serious about staying healthy and performing better, getting better, training hard, those are all good reasons why you might want to look into getting an ice bath. Okay? Stretching. Do you warm up properly before your practice? Do you cool down properly after your practice? And are you physically active during the night, meaning before you go to bed and or wake up in the morning? Are you doing an arm program for health? Easy movements with very light weight, doing pull acrosses and stuff if you're in an arm sport. Are you properly imp implementing some mo movement, mobility style warm up, dynamic movements into your coach, uh, to your practices, or are you just hitting the field or the court? Okay. Are you really, truly spending time getting your body primed and ready for practice? A lot of things is just, all right, let's get. Like for basketball, you simply go and shoot, and then you expect them to go run and play defense. Not necessarily the best situation for them to be healthy, to be recovered, and to be ready to perform at their, own, at their best. Okay, at most is what I was about to say. So we do a lot of mobility movement. A lot of times what we start our practices with is a little bit of hand-eye coordination, kind of catching drills to prime the brain, to warm the brain up. A lot of times kids come into practice stressed out. You know, they're in school all day now, school having all the, dealing with all the situations of the current 
world come in stressed out. So we want them to have a little bit of fun to just kind of whew, that loose off moment. We found the little fun challenges for catching drills, balance. Okay, we do a lot of bounce balls with tennis balls and stuff. And that works to kind of set the mood of, all right, let's turn off your brain from the outside world. We're gonna focus on this practice to get better. Okay, so we'll do a two to three minutes, uh, usually two drills of catching, easy catching drills. Maybe the second one is a little bit more simple, easy movement, sidestep kind of stuff. Then we start to get into our mobility where we include that as part of our warm up, doing some of our <clears throat> movement stacks or flows as they're called by a lot of people uh, we tend to take a little bit easier approach than some of the more advanced movements which are fine and great great for conditioning we want to ease our body into them so we tend to focus on a lot of bare position kneeling position kind of just moving our body through its comfortable range of motions and then we get into the the heavy conditioning speed movements of our performance practices so just a recommendation if you're serious about keeping your kids healthy, if you're serious about getting them better, you might want to look into including some modality of recovery into your practices so that they can stay fresh, they can actually get better while they're there, and they will avoid those injuries that happen from overtraining and just being in the same situation too often in a row without any time to rest and recover. So. All right, that's all we have for today, coaches. You guys go out, be awesome, be amazing. Remember, help them be their best. It makes you look better as a coach. All right, I'm Spencer Aiken. This is our lacrosse ball, and I'm going to go roll it out right now. So uh, use it on my hips and loosen up. All right, thanks, guys.